So next, we're going to hear from another user who's using uh, OpenStack in production and uh, looking at uh, the future uh, of their cloud's strategy, and they want to share some of that with us. So we have Neil Sato and Kentaro Sasaki from Rakuten. So come on out. Nice. <laughs> nice logo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wait. OK. Anyway, um, so it's, it's an honor to be here, uh, to be in front of a great community. Um, today, we want to um, share our experience of OpenStack at Rock 10. And just to give you a heads up, we're not um, we haven't really played around that much. Um, actually, we got it implemented. It's in production ready. Uh, we are currently uh, working with the uh, site operation members to um, uh, get the production system on there. And so it's, it's a, we're still at the early phase. But uh, I was hoping that uh, by sharing our experience of uh, OpenStack with uh, people who are still considering to use OpenStack uh, to give sort of encouragement um, to start working on it. Oh, presentation. <laughs> okay, so um, let us um, introduce about Rakuten. Uh, for those of you who live in uh, Japan, you might already know um, what we do. But uh, for those of you who are outside of Japan, I'd just like to quickly introduce what we do. Uh, we've been uh, providing e-commerce business uh, for uh, since 1996 and slowly, uh, rapidly expanding so, as yeah, a more of a general internet company. And we've been in the business for, like I said, 20 years or so. Uh, now it's up to about 18,000 employees. Uh, we got a few thousand engineers uh, working all over the world. And what we are providing is what we call a rock den ecosystem. Um, it's to provide one-stop access to a wide range of internet services. That's more of a marketing term. But, uh, um, so starting with the e-commerce business, we expanded the other e-commerce business like travel on the right side, media portal, uh, digital goods as well. And also recently, uh, majority of our, uh, a lot of the revenue is coming from a financial uh, area of the service, uh, such as credit card, banking, securities, life insurance. And uh, we even have a telecom service that we, uh, we're managing right now. And domestically here in, in Japan, we have a, approximately oh, over 100 million uh, users or customers, we call them. And the transaction volume, we're getting to uh, close to 10 trillion Japanese yen. And we're not uh, sticking just uh, domestically here in Japan. Um, we are actively expanding overseas. Uh, you might have heard our name before, I may not, but if you're in North America, you might have heard a company like uh, Buy.com or eBay. Um, and in Europe, uh, Price Minister in France, Play.com uh, in uh, UK. And these are a company that we've been uh, acquiring in the past. Uh, some are rebranded as a Rockton, uh, as a Rockton service. And we also expanded our service to ebook uh, business uh, by acquiring Kobo in uh, Toronto, Canada. And there's some media business such as uh, Viki and Waki are the other companies. And the recent uh, pretty large acquisition that we had was uh, Viber, uh, messaging and uh, voice over IP service. It's out of uh, Israel. So to support uh, so many of these services, we, as uh, global operations, have uh, been uh, providing a private cloud solution to the internal customers. And we started out back in 2010 using uh, Zen as a hypervisor. And we got about, about 2,000 instances. We had a little glitches here and there, a lot of uh, lack of understanding how the hypervisor works. And um, so we decided to switch to VMware. Uh, this was in 2012. And this actually um, was, came out to be pretty good. Uh, it was very stable. Um, we didn't see major downtime with, uh, with a VMware setup. Um, now, I think we're, the slide says 20,000, but I think we're all the way, all way up to about 21,000 instances right now. Now, this year, um, actually, we started uh, digging more into OpenStack, and this year, we got the OpenStack set up. I'm going to pass the, uh, the microphone to Kentaro, uh, who will explain more about the technical aspect of it. 
So let me explain how our OpenStack is working and what we expect to do by using the OpenStack. Anyway, so as you can see, the something red are the servers which run OpenStack services and uh, stuff in green and the circle shape are the other servers uh, which do not depend on the OpenStack. So the only one or two services uh, run on each server, so it means that uh, we are using the much more servers than a, uh, a sort of our architecture example. Uh, what, uh, what we assume as the standard of design, and uh, all novel compute server has local SSDs and run KVM 2.0, and we have a huge real FS cluster uh, for grounds backend. This is an uh, internally developed open, open source object storage which has uh, Amazon S3 API. And actually, we don't use uh, layer 3 networking, so the driver what we use is uh, VRAM plus open free switch. And Cinder is still under consideration so far. And we have uh, three regions and five availability zones. So, and basically, we have a sort of uh, environment uh, which are development, staging, and production. So we define them as the region. <coughs> so actually, we're, we've not introduced the block storage service, but we also have uh, experience about the traditional enterprise storage. So we're going to introduce a Cinder by using some sort of the storage. And also, we've not uh, began something about the implement network management. So we're going to implement something like uh, this stuff. And uh, for automation, it's a very important strategy for us. So we definitely need to be working on using the API. So I believe that the, using the API is the, how can I say, the only neat things to do in terms of using the OpenStack. So the next scenario is going to sum up. Go ahead. So um, we really love OpenStack, although we've been just uh, scratching the surface of what uh, OpenStack is capable of. But um, I think the important part um, about c committing to OpenStack is about contribution, uh, including Kentaro and the other teams, my uh, other members in my team, are contributing to the OpenStack community. And I think I don't like to use, use the word like responsibility or, or obligation, but I think it's, it's a philosophy of uh, open source project is to get involved and be part of the community. Um, I think it's, it, I've been in, in this business and I've, been, I've also contributed an open stack, or I mean open source uh, project and I really enjoyed it. And I see a lot of uh, future in this uh, movement. So if you're looking forward to um, Working on OpenStack here in Tokyo, we're hiring, and I'm supposed to throw that in because HR told me to do so. <laughs> uh, or with Jackson, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so thanks a lot. Uh, we're looking f uh, forward to working with uh, everybody in this community. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That was amazing. You know, I just realized that the Japanese travel book I checked out of the library was a little out of date because I'm the only one wearing a suit. So you got to do your research, people. <laughs>